already know I'm going to be a French one picker, which is hilarious because I hate the French, but you know. Hey, best Huh? What? I did not press delete. Huh? What? A hacker? What the fuck, man? Okay. <sighs> and the game is over. And I don't really know who won. I assume it's Nikov after that that goes down, and yes, it is Leary with a magnificent push early, but goes down in the late game. That was incredible from Nikov. He turned that around magnificently. And if that's all there is to Age of Empires casting, my goodness me, it's easier than I thought. Used here as he is sending his scout to attack a deer when the deer is actually um not an opponent for him okay he's oh and his villager is getting badly damaged by a boar as well so really a very poor start for nikov there he's messed up a bunch of stuff he has mistaken this deer for an enemy and uh got his villager hurt by a boar which is a bad move for him oh no and leary looks to have misclicked with his town center gather point and it's going to go after the boar as well this is going to be a disaster for leary here because it looks like the boar is going to catch up and damage this villager as well. Both players, I mean, these are allegedly world-class players, and both of them are making just such, such dumb mistakes. Leary rings the town bell to get all the villagers inside. Again, really, really lackluster stuff from him, building a house out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, you've got to ask, what is going on with these two? Difficult to say. Idle time there on that villager. You hate to see that. As um... Why, bruh, why? Please, please tell me why. I'm just not. Let's go next game. Which, oh, but very good. Look at this bloke just slapping his sword. This is the bloke who nearly died to the wolf. Slapping his sword against the building. He's had enough of fighting against things that fight back. He's, he's having a very heated argument with a brick wall right now. Once again, thanks for the sub, Harry boy, Sam. Now, these blokes also not interested in fighting against anything that's going to fight back. We're going to see houses built once again. Nico reaches for the Palisade wall instead, pulls the house out of the tool belt. You hate to see it. Got the crossbows in reserve here. We'll see which one's going up against this. Both of them with plus two. Probably got fletching or something. Don't know all the technologies off by heart just yet. Still very new I'm to this. Agree. I was being sarcastic when I was agreeing with them, Tad. Don't worry. You've done nothing in your life, and I love you. That was easy. <laughs> You've done nothing in your life. <laughs> You've done nothing wrong in your life. I missed a word. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you have done nothing in your life, and I love you. <laughs> the best part of doing this, guys, is that you lose. Yeah, like you're ruining the experience for the people picking arena because they don't want to play like this. They want to play against full walls and do their strategy, fucking shenanigans. So, you kind of make them mad doing this, which is fucking amazing. There's nothing more pleasuring making arena people angry. They want to fucking magnal your stone walls, they want to put a castle on your face and want to go fast imp, that's what they want to do. When they see you delete the walls, they actually like... Got it all the way out to the end there, that's nice. Forgot to wall off the stone. He'll have to hope that Nikov doesn't spot that because that is a prime position for a mining camp there from Nikov. He'll be able to steal that stone. Bit of an unfortunate error not walling it off completely, but that's alright. That's all right. Leary's gone for range barracks here. No stable from him. Not ch uh, channeling his inner 12-year-old. I mean, that'd just be him playing as normal. Am I right? Uh, we move on now back to Nikov. See what he's up to. Oh, this guy. 
Hot yoga, hot moist yoga. Grath, how long are you streaming to, uh, tonight? Want to watch some games at work? Uh, plan is for like I think another four or five hours. I think. Ah, uh, decent demo there, but not good enough. Just too many fire ships, and here we go. Here we go. This could be the. This could be the death blow. Only two vills going down. Still, two vills here, three vills there, and a castle foundation from Blue. He knows that he's in trouble, and he's sending all the villagers to complete this, but it's not gonna work. <laughs> Remember, we're on all visible, folks. <laughs> there is no sneakiness about this castle. There is no sneakiness at all. This castle is never going up, not even in your wildest dreams. Elevate is gonna kill more villagers. Now it's 51 to 30. There was a point in this game where I thought for sure Elevid was dead. But I said, I, I did say there was a chance, and that's if Blue left. Take like, the fact for Nilly and, and, and Gamble that they're so close together. They're like right beside each other, basically. They could team wall all of this. Unfortunately, they can't fucking team wall because they're fucking Goss. <clears throat> Why no team score? I don't think they teamed. They did team. Are these guys are Nil is Nilly together with Matt? No, they're all switching all over the place. This is just capture age being weird, guys. I'm pretty sure if I go I I'm pretty sure Nilly and, and, and Gamble are teamed. That's the way it was in the game lobby. They can still palace it. And now another push is this castle desperately attempting to stay up here, but it's not going to stay up. He's on 30 stone with no access to any of it. There is a pile of it over here that he probably doesn't know about at this point. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. No, no one spotted this stone over here. No one knows that it exists. And now we see the, it stays up. How's... Well, all right. Blow me down with a feather. I don't know how that one happened. 14 farmers. Like, his economy is not so great. 14 farmers doing his kill bar in armor. Doing more mangonels. I, I really don't know. He's doing the fletching and uh, it's a great transition here from fire. It's true that he's starting to get some map control. And now... You gotta be kidding me. You... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna wall, but he's in. I mean, it's disaster, man. Are you kidding me, man? Whoa! Well, now he has villains behind this area, and he can go and boom, 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 push. Well, see, it's very annoying what is gonna happen. He is doing the castle. Still 26 farmers. He will get the foot fast because, you know, Khmer is kind of sick. And now he's gonna go rat and archers. My question is, why rat and archers? Just go halves. Seriously, go fucking house. <laughs> Taptos 22, okay. Oh, you missed the announcement. Taptos, thank you for the soup, but you missed the announcement. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, amigo. <laughs> Troller. 
Troller. Okay. And look at those huge cuts. Okay. Yeah, well, he's raiding. He's raiding a lot. He's raiding a lot. Well, the announcement, guys, is that from tomorrow, I will stream League of Legends. Stay tuned for more. Anyway, now look at those Q skulls. He has to be careful. And now the Kipchas are going to go forward. Okay. He's moving. No, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. It's too many, man. <laughs> League of Legends, man. But he's on Twitch, okay? He's going to be on Twitch, okay? Stay tuned for more. Anyway, this is so many Kipchas. 62 army. 170. What happened with Dogao? Hmm. It's a naval to mass army. It's really a naval, and this is obviously because of a great job by Fire. But Fire, it's time to put. Hey guys, I'm Joseph. I created the algorithm Gloomshot that made the video that you're watching right now. I didn't do any of the video editing, compilation, or uploading by hand. I actually wrote some code that does all of it for me while I'm sleeping. This might seem like a pretty complex skill, but it's a lot simpler than you think. I'm completely self-taught and believe that if you can play video games, you can write your own automation code. If you're interested in learning this skill, I've created an online course that will hold your hand through making a bunch of real-world projects even if you've never coded before. Check it out in the description below.